guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. So for today's video, I'm gonna be sharing my current hair care routine. During these winter months, my hair tends to feel brittle and just, I have a very dry scalp. So today we're gonna be making sure everything is moisturized, cleansed, clean. So I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Let me know in the comments what you guys wanna see from me next. If you wanna keep up with me every day, you can follow all my socials, link down below. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Press that bell icon to be notified every time I post. And let's get started. So like I was saying before, my hair is just very dry and brittle in the winter. So I'm gonna be doing my whole routine. I'm gonna do a hair mask, scalp oils, shampoo, conditioner, and then all the products I use afterward. I will link everything that I mentioned today in the description down below. But let's move to the bathroom. I know my hair doesn't look too dirty or needs to be washed, but surprisingly it's on day six. I normally wash my hair once or twice a week just depends on what my activity is doing most of the time my hair gets oily from working out or just natural oils but I tend to have a very dry scalp and then dry ends so to keep up with maintenance in between I use dry shampoo and then I'll use some oil on the ends of my hair and that's what keeps my hair not looking too bad. On wash days, I tend to brush my hair before I get in the shower. I like to use my wet brush. I like these brushes because I feel like my hair does not feel like it's getting ripped down my head. You can also obviously use it when your hair is wet. Also, pro tip, when you brush your hair, do not start on the scalp. Start on the ends of your hair and then slowly work up and that will stop a lot of breakage that will cause at the top of your head. And like it didn't even hurt in my hair. I have, I have not brushed it in quite a few days. Because most of the time the knots are at the bottom of your head if you have longer hair. So not too bad. Definitely feels kind of dry though. So now that my hair is brushed, I'm going to start with the scalp. I'm going to be using the Mila Rosemary Mint Scalp and Hair Strengthening Oil. This is from Amazon and a lot of people say this helps with hair growth. Now I don't struggle with hair loss, but this also helps with obviously a dry scalp because your face and your scalp are the same. You could use this oil throughout your whole head of hair, but I mostly just use it for my scalp. So. What I'm doing is taking like about half, I'm going through my hairline and putting it throughout the scalp. Especially places that I know are really dry. Go in with my hair and just start massaging the scalp. Kind of loosening up any dry flakes I might have. Massaging the oil into the skin. Honestly, if you have a headache, you know how much pressure to put on yourself, so. Also, massaging your head like this helps stimulate hair growth as well. I'm gonna add a little bit more oil because I felt like it wasn't enough. Now my hair looks very greasy and oily, but it feels good. I'm gonna wash my hands because we're gonna next add a hair mask on the ends of my hair. I don't do this every week, maybe like every other, but it also depends on how my hair is feeling. So today we're gonna be using the Amika Soul Food Nourishing Mask. You can also pick this up from Amazon, but they pretty much sell this at Ulta, I think Target as well. But for that mask, you need to have your hair wet. So I have a little spray bottle, I'm gonna Fill this up with like room temperature water. Not too cold, not too hot. I'm gonna pull the hair to the front of my head and just start spraying it. Okay, my hair pretty much feels soaked now. So I'm gonna go in with like about a quarter amount and start massaging this through breaking it. I do gotta say that the Amika product smells so good. I'm gonna add a little bit more make sure I got it everywhere. And I'm only really doing like mids to ends, not really where the oil was. So now this side is done. We're gonna do the same thing on the other side. Now I'm gonna get my brush again, kind of brush it all through. I want both these products to sit in my hair. So I'm just gonna loosely pull it all up and clip it with a claw clip. So it's not sitting on my shoulders and during everything. So I'm gonna let this sit in my hair for about 10 minutes. The scalp oil you can leave on longer, but because the mask, it only says leave on for five to seven, I just keep it on 10, but we'll be back when the 10 minutes are over. So now that my 10 minutes are up, I'm gonna go take a shower 
When I get in the shower, I like to start by just rinsing my hair. Normally the temperature of the water is like a good medium, not too hot, not too cold because steamy hot water will actually damage your hair more than you think. So I'll start by rinsing, get as much product out as I can with just water. Then I'm gonna go in with my Shea Moisture shampoo and conditioner. So I will do two shampoos. The first one, I'm just looking to get rid of the dirt. Not much of a lather, just taking out all the mask, the oil, some dirt that I have just in general in my hair. Wash that all out and then do a second shampoo and look for a lather. If you're not getting much of a lather, you might need to do a third shampoo. You really wanna see a lather because that means your hair is clean. I will use this brush on my scalp. This is from the brand, I think, Tada, T-A-D-A. -A. You can find these at TJ Maxx, Marshalls, Home Goods. After I shampoo and I'm rinsing it out, I'll go in in circles and make sure everything's lifted off the scalp and even brush down through my ends. Then I will end with my conditioner. I will do the same thing as the mask and only use it from my mid to ends. Any farther will make my scalp oily again and that's what we're trying to avoid. Personally, I just love these shampoos because I have naturally wavy hair. Personally, I feel like my hair feels the cleanest and my natural texture comes through a lot better using this brand. So I'm all dressed and my hair, I'm letting it dry naturally. If I'm kind of in a rush or I'm busy doing stuff and I don't want my hair dripping down my body, I will just use this towel. This is a microfiber towel. You could buy these anywhere. Pretty sure this one is from TJ Maxx, but I can link something similar from Amazon. To style my hair, I mostly will do heatless curls. Occasionally, if I am going somewhere and I wash my hair in the morning, I will blow dry it. But for every day, I love using my heatless curler. I just feel like I'm putting a lot less heat damage to my hair. So we're gonna let this dry about 90%. I moved down to my basement bathroom because this is mostly where I will do my hair. I'm going to be using my keyless curler. You can buy these also from TJ Maxx, Marshalls, Amazon. Mine's from Amazon. For products, I love using the It's a 10 Miracle Leave-In product. You can spray this directly onto your hair, but personally, I just like to spray it into my hand and then rake it through my hair. I pretty much will put this everywhere. And then on my mids to ends, I like to use the OGX Renewing Plus Argan Oil of Morocco. I'm almost out of this product and I'm gonna, gonna need a lot more. This is just mids to ends, not as high as I did the other product. So like below the ear and down. I personally love this product because I feel like my ends are always needing the most moisture. And it looks kind of oily right now because my hair is like slightly wet, slightly dry. But when I take it out of the heatless curl tomorrow, it just looks natural. It dries into my hair. Now I'm going to get a comb and make sure my part is exactly where I want it. Looks about good. Now if you have bangs or you have a lot of PC parts in the front, mine are pretty much grown out. You can add a roller in the front, but I feel like that's not necessary for how much my hair is grown out. So I just place it directly on the top of my head, make sure my hair split as evenly as possible. And then I just tie off the one side loosely and we're gonna work on just this side. So I'm gonna go grab a small little section and place it straight back. Not off to the side, but straight back because that will give you the most volume. Then I'm gonna go down a little farther, grab some hair, connect it with that first piece, make sure it's smooth and do the exact same thing. And I'm gonna do that all the way down. Now that I'm at like my ear, I try to push the hair up, make sure it's all tight and then keep going. But this part, you gotta do it really tight, like pull tight because these pieces down here are gonna be too loose then. And then with the remaining hair, just twist and pull. I'm leaving a little bit of my hair out because I don't want it to be like, like a rod at the end and it's too curly because that's how I normally curl my hair. And then I'm gonna tie the rest with this scrunchie and then it sits nice and tight along your head. That's another reason why you want it to be damp like a slightly damp is because you want it to be nice and tight because when it dries while you're sleeping, it will dry in this position. So now we're gonna do the same thing. My hair is all done now, but 
since I'm not going to bed yet, I will just get these two pieces and tie them in the back of my head so it's kind of out of my face. And then right before I go to bed, I untie it and then go to sleep. So I will see you guys in the morning. It's the next day. My hair holds up pretty well. I do move a lot in my sleep. It got only a little bit loose, but that's why I try to make it as tight as I can. I mean, this side, you can tell I sleep a little more rough than this side, but we'll see if that makes a difference. So the only thing I do is take this out and immediately hairspray to hold that style throughout the day. Occasionally, like depending on the weather, that the style will fall a little faster. Like if it's humid out, it might get just puffy and like the style will won't really last. But that's why I try to put as much hair, look at the curl. That's why I try to put as much hairspray as possible. I'm gonna take out this side. And honestly, it looks like I curled it. Now I'm just gonna run my fingers through my hair to kind of separate this. Some pretty big hair. So now the very last step of my hair routine is using the L'Oreal Paris El Net hairspray. This is the color resistant one, but that's because my sister and my mom uses as well and they have both colored hair. This is my natural hair, so that's not an issue for me as much as it is for them. So I'm gonna let the hair calm down and then we're gonna see the final results. So my hair has settled down and this is how it will normally stay the rest of the day. Very nice, curly, but not too tight. I think it all depends on everybody's texture and how tight they want it. But this is just how I love doing it for every day. I know those heatless curlers can be a little bit uncomfortable to get used to, but honestly, I've been doing it for a couple of years now and I don't really even notice a difference. It actually kind of stopped me from turning on to my side, which my goal is always to sleep on my back. So I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Let me know in the comments what you guys want to see from me next. If you want to keep up with me every day, you can follow all my socials, link down below. Don't forget to like and subscribe, press that bell icon to be notified every time I post and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!